I was sort of hyper, hyper tracked. I, you know, my eighth grade junior high school yearbook, one of my friends wrote in, you know, I, I know you'll get into Stanford in four years as a, as a sophomore, I sort of went into, went to Stanford four years later, uh, at the end of high school, uh, went to Stanford Law School, uh, you know, ended up um, at a big law firm in uh, New York uh, where from the outside everybody wanted to get in, on the inside everybody wanted to leave. Um, <laughs> And, and you had, um, and it was this very strange dynamic where after I uh, sort of realized this was maybe not the best idea, um, and I left after seven months and three days, you know, one of the people down the hall from me uh, told me, um, it's really reassuring to see you leave, Peter. I had no idea that it was possible to escape from Alcatraz, which of course, all you had to do was go out the front door and not come back. But, um, but so much of people's identities got wrapped up in, um, in winning uh, these competitions that uh, they somehow lost sight of what was important, what was valuable. Uh, you know, competition does make you better at whatever it is that you're competing on. Because when you're competing, you're um, comparing yourself with the people around you. You're figuring out, how do I beat the people next to me? How do I do somewhat better at whatever it is they're doing? And you will get better at that thing. I'm not, I'm not questioning that. I'm not denying that. But, um, but it often comes at this tremendous price that uh, you stop asking some bigger questions about what's truly important and truly valuable. And so I would, I would say that uh, don't always go through the tiny little door that everyone's trying to rush through. Uh, maybe go around the corner and go through the vast gate that no one's taking.